greats here in boxing today as he loses in the knockout in the fifth round. Well, coming up, we've got uh, the junior featherweight title, uh, not title, but a former title winner. And, of course, welcome Nita, who lost the title to Kennedy McKinney. 31-1, and one, and he steps back in the ring. Has not been in the ring uh, since he lost that title to McKinney back in December of 1992. Uh, of course, Z Mazzuni, his trainer and manager, certainly one of those guys that feels that he's uh, kind of gained some upper body strength. He's uh, slimmed down in some of the areas, very lean, and looks very good as he gets ready to go up against a good puncher and Eddie Rangel. Rangel, one of the fighters out of San Antonio's Rangel family. His uh, older brother, Alfred, an outstanding fighter. Younger brother, Roland, just coming up. But the puncher of the family happens to be Eddie, and he'll be in there trying to punch with uh, Welcome Nita, who certainly feels like he has picked up on his punch as well. And we'll find out how much he has come back once again after losing that title. He's 31-1 and one with 14 knockouts, and we'll try to get a fight and a win today. World Championship Boxing Series here from Caesars Tahoe. And one of the former champions, Welcome Nita. He, of course, is the Hawk. He fights up against Eddie Ranghael. They fought an earlier fight that was scheduled for 10 rounds in the junior featherweight division. Let's pick up that fight taped earlier here on the network. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the beautiful Caesars Tahoe Hotel and Casino as we proudly present the Corona Extra World Championship Series. And now, ladies and gentlemen, this match is scheduled for 10 rounds of boxing in the junior featherweight division. Our referee for this contest is Mills Lane. Introducing first in the blue corner, this young man wears the red trunks. He weighed in at 125 pounds. He hails from San Antonio, Texas, with a record of 25 wins. Nine losses, two draws, with 16 big wins by knockout. Here is Eddie Ranhell. Ranhell. And now, ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the red corner, this young man is wearing the white trunks with the blue trim. He weighed in at 124 and a half pounds. He fights out of East London, South Africa, with a record of 31 wins, one loss with 14 wins by knockout. He is the former IBF junior featherweight champion of the world. Welcome, Nita. Nita. The third man in the ring, of course, will be well-known referee Miles Lang, as he'll be one of the guys that'll be separating these two, as Welcome Nita, along with Eddie Ranghale, uh, making an appearance back in the ring for Welcome Nita, a fighter who's been out of the ring, and a lot of people... Uh, had uh, been quite surprised when he was knocked out in the 11th round by Kennedy McKinney for the IBF uh, uh, Junior Featherweight Championship. And now it's nice to have the Hawk back as he steps in with a 31-1 record. And, of course, Z has uh, got him all pumped up. And, matter of fact, Bob, you were a little bit surprised the way he looks. He looks like he's down in weight a little bit, very lean and ready to fight here today, it appears. Nita fighting out of East London, South Africa, 5'7", 124 and a half pounds, while Eddie Ranghale, again, you heard 125 and only 5'3", fighting Ranghale brothers out of San Antonio. And, of course, a pair of good ones. Alfred, of course, making quite a name for himself. And Eddie, known as the best puncher coming out of that uh, fighting brothers. And they also have the uh, younger fighter, and that would be uh, Roland Ranghale. And right now you can see that Eddie Ranghale is now trying to Take the fight to Welcome Nita, and we'll find out how Welcome responds here. Trying to use that jab. You're early, Sam. That's, that's what he's got to do, get his distance down. And uh, he's got to feel Eddie out. He, you know, this is a tough fight to, to start back with after the layoff for both for both fighters. But they're, they're world class, and it's going to be the quickness and speed of uh, Welcome Nita and the against the punching, the one-punch uh, power of uh, Eddie Ranhell, who's, you know, Eddie, th what he's got to do is not just look for that one shot and, and try to work Welcome's body and slow him down for the end of this fight. For the long haul. Welcome, Nita, again, working out and working very hard in the States. And quite obviously is getting some good sparring, which is something he's needed a great deal. Yeah. 
You can see we're just over halfway of round number one. Ed came there together. Both fighters acknowledge it. No damage done. It's a feeling out round for sure by these two guys, Jim. Uh, they've, uh, I'm sure, studied tape of each other because the fact that they're both world-class fighters, there, there is tape on them. And uh, that's no difference from Eddie Rangel. He's just, you know, letting Welcome know he's going to be here for the long haul. Nothing he can do can hurt him. And, and Welcome's just setting up things for later in the fight. Junior Jones once again stopping Eddie Rangel once again in the seventh round of their fight in New York for the USBA. And you can see Welcome Nita has knocked the mouthpiece out of Rangel and going right at them here in round one. Plenty of time with 40 seconds to go. The field good left hook that time by Welcome. The feeling out for us is definitely over here in this first round. Started off with a blistering left hook by Welcome Nita. Momentary stop as Mills Lane will let the mouthpiece be placed back in and then they'll resume the clock with 29 seconds to go in the round. Eddie Rangel again trying to regroup himself after taking quite a pounding here in round number one. And left hook has been a major weapon so far here early on for Welcome Nita. In the first round of his scheduled 10 rounder here at Caesars Lake Tahoe. Good right hand over the top as he'll punctuate the round. Speed is power, Sam, and that's what we're seeing here from Welcome Nita. Good look at Eddie and Eddie Rangel. Rangel again out of San Antonio, Texas. 29, excuse me, 25, 9 and 2. And a fighter that, as we pointed out, has uh, watched a lot of the outstanding uh, Hispanic fighters come out of San Antonio, including those out of his own family. And they've had some good ones. Matter of fact, this man has been in the ring with a lot of great fighters, including the current champion, Orlando Canizales, and uh, Bob Spagnola, of course, the manager of Orlando. Knocked him out in the uh, fifth round, but uh, tough customer you, sure, you had to fight, right? And it was a tough fight. Eddie and uh, Orlando came up in the same amateur program, and I believe Eddie had a had a win over him early in their careers. Welcome, of course, not fighting since December of 1992, so he's been out for a while, as he, of course, was stopped by Kennedy McKinney after McKinney actually almost quit at the end of the 10th round. Round two of a scheduled 10 rounder. Welcome Nita in the white while the red with the gold stripe belongs to Eddie Rangel. Rangel out of San Antonio and of course welcome out of East London, South Africa. A former world champion. As a matter of fact, held that title for nearly three years before being dethroned last December by Kennedy McKinney who defends his title in this world championship series here in Lake Tahoe today. You know, in speaking with Z and, uh, and welcome yesterday, that's the, they got to get over that. You know, it still bothers them so much. They're ahead in the fight. They're they nearly stopped McKinney at the end of the last round. They've got him out, and he gets up off the deck, and Welcome rushes in, uh, throws caution to the winds, and, and runs into a big right hand. And now everyone has forgotten about him, he feels like, and that they're talking about Kennedy the King McKinney. But uh, nobody's forgotten about Welcome Nita, and he's, he's putting on a show right now. Uh, you know, this fight's good for him. It's good that he had to be concerned about being in with a tough opponent and everything, and uh, and he's shining out there right now. And he's he's back all the way back, Sam. After this, both the fighters obviously fighting a little above that junior featherweight the weight today of 124 for Welcome, 125 for Rang Hale. Saw a good exchange off the ropes, and that's one thing that Welcome has worked on again is that nice counter, and has thrown some excellent left hooks in this fight so far. Yeah, he had to establish some power with Eddie early because he, he just you can't let Eddie Ron Hell just walk through you for ten rounds. He gets, uh, you know, he's got punching power. He's known for having a blistering left hook, but he's, he's also got a strong right hand. So you got to you got to establish yourself with him. You can't just let him walk through you with reckless abandon. Welcome vaulted into the boxing scene right in March of 1990 as he came up with a 12-round decision over Fabrice Minishu of uh, France, fighting in Israel to win the title. Won six title defenses, as a matter of fact, a couple of them over Sugar Baby Rojas and also over Jesus Salud. Went 12 rounds in April of 92 before losing to Kennedy McKinney in December of last year. So he had fought some good ones in there in his defense after winning the title. And that fight with Salud was, a, I mean, just an incredible testament to the courage and, uh, and uh, everything of Welcome Need. I mean, he got out there, his eye was closed early in the fight. He had to, he let it rather than box on the other outside which he loves to do he had to lay on the inside with Jesus Salud and just fight him there because he, he was getting hit with two good shots so it, it, he showed you how he could diversify as a fighter how he could adapt and encourage the balls and land in there with punches like that. you can see he's getting good coverage and that man took his good today a couple of
Jeff, uh, the flying left hooks there, kind of staggered right now for a moment. Another one catches him on the temple. And an uppercut, scores with a right hand. And a little bit of top straight right hand again. Welcome kind of picking his spots and landing almost at will right now. He really looks great right here, Sam. He's, uh, he's putting on a clinic right now. But don't count Eddie Ron Hell out because, you know, he's in there. He's been in this uh, deep water before. He's been in with tough uh, fighters before. And he's come back to this work. Now Till's coming on once again with Welcome Nita looking very sharp in... Uh, both of the first two rounds over Eddie Rangel, and the one thing that has to impress you about Welcome Nita, as you've already pointed out, excellent conditioning. He's put on a course a little bit more upper body strength, it appears. And quite obviously, he's also an uh, opportunity to fight and kind of think about what his life is all about. And he's certainly uh, got it all back together again right now. Here he goes with a nice combination. Double left hooks at the end of it's got Eddie Rangel backing up. And that is not an easy chore to do at the back of Rang Hale. He'll be coming forward at you all day long today. But Welcome has been able to push him on the ropes, take some good shots, and even in the center of the ring, score almost at will. But you see Eddie Ronhell's corner. There's no panic in right. there. He's got a solid uh, Abelino Trevino who's been with him his entire career, and they're, they're together. They're, they're used to these tough fights. This is round three of a junior featherweight battle between Welcome Nita in the white, Eddie Rangel in the red. So far through a couple of rounds, Bob Spagnola along with Sam Smith. And uh, scoring so far looks like it's pretty much for the former champion, it appears, Bob. Yeah, well, Welcome's off to a real good start here, but uh, th this fight's a long way from over with. Uh, as I said, he, there's no panic in Ron Hell's corner. He, he's been in tough fights before with tough fighters, and he, you know, he's just hoping to, you know, land his punches, and, and uh, you know, he's in there. Like I said, he's got, he's having a lot of trouble with the speed of Welcome Nita right now, but he's not in any kind of an awe. July of 1989, Rangel won the USBA title, and Mauro Diaz was the opponent there. Knocked him out in the 11th round to win the title. Aubrey lost it in November of 90 in a 12-round battle with Greg Richardson. He's had shots, as I made mention, with Orlando Canizales being knocked out in the fifth round for the IBF title. Also lost in the NABF shot against Bernie Morales and also lost another opportunity for the USBA shot against Once Junior Jones in his last up. fight being knocked out in the seventh round in September of last year. And that left hook, as we said, being set up all afternoon, finally scores a big shot. And Rangel goes reeling into the ropes. Bill's laying down there quickly, checking to make sure he's all right, and here comes Welcome. Look out for the left hook to score again. Yeah, Welcome's going to try to get this over with. He knows he's got his opponent in trouble here. Welcome digging shots to the body, not going head hunting. Even though he's got a quick shot. And now this one's going to be over as Bill's running. He's going to stop the fight, and it is over. So in the third round, Welcome needs it. Getting right hand down on the third round, the third round, and getting him with a right uppercut after a left hook that scored a knockdown. And Welcome Nita comes up with a big victory here in the third round of a TKO. But again, it was the left hook that started the, all the problems for Ranale. Put him down and against the ropes. He got up Mills Lane, uh, indicated that he was all right, but quickly, not more than about 20 seconds later, it was Nita right over the top of it, and a right uppercut was the one that finally finished it up. Let's take a look at the left hook that got Ranghale in big trouble. The right hand, actually, and then followed by a light left hook, so it actually... Uh, with the right hand followed by the left hook. There was the right, and then this is the one that will finally finish it off here. Watch as he challenges him in there, chase him in the corner, and it comes right up on the middle, and that's the right hook that puts it, uh, excuse me, the right uppercut that finally puts him away. So a right hand followed by a left hook, and then a right hand underneath. And those are the two big punches that Welcome Nita, the Hawk, needs to come back in to the forefront of boxing once again. And the junior featherweight has earned his opportunity once again possibly to fight for the fight and the championship. Probably coming up, if not the latter part of this year, certainly in the early part of 1994. Welcome moves his record to 22-1 and one with the knockout, also gets his 15th knockout of his career. And interesting enough, coming in the third round, that was the third knockout, made that the fourth in the third round for Welcome, who had six of his 14 inside of three rounds. Not known for his knockout power early, but an accumulation of punches normally puts him away. Let's officially get to the time once again. Here is Jim Hall. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight ends at one minute and 38 seconds of the third round. Winner by knockout, Welcome, Incita, Incita.
Charles Rockham comes out with the victory that he most surely knew. Snates at 32 and 1. And again gets his 15 knockout. Bob Spagnuolo is positioning himself for an opportunity to visit with the man that hopefully is back on the championship trail. All of the fans all over the world and certainly in his home country of South Africa are very excited about that. We're just about ready. Let's go upstairs once again. Here is Bob Spagnuolo with Welcome Me Top. Here with former champion Welcome Me Top. How do you feel, champ? Oh, great, great. It's like, uh, I feel like I've done history. You know? I was still warming up, you know. Um, I was kind of like uh, first, uh, you know, since we have uh, sparred together, I thought he might come like real strong because he knows me. But, you know, when I got there and I got my tools working on, which uh, Baba helped me with, with the sharpness of the punches, you know. So I won the fight. Yeah, no, it was an excellent performance against a tough kid, Eddie Ron Hell, and, and a world-class fighter in his own right. How do you feel, Z, after the big win? Well, Bob, we knew uh, he's been there, and he's been there with the with great fighters, and uh, we know we knew that he's a tough guy. But, uh, well, of course, you know, welcome is one of the best, as you know, with yourself. And uh, we are looking forward to once more again to uh, rumble with the with the champion. Whoever wins uh, tonight, then uh, we want to be there with well, Listen, you've had a long layoff, but now it's all over with you. Back, the rust is off you. You showed everybody, you know, what we already knew anyway, that, uh, you know, he's back. And, you know, after the disappointment in the last go around, you know, everything's going to be all right. And, you know, you're, sit you're just going to mark a little time and get your shot again. That's right. Yeah, you know, like, you, you're right when you're saying that, you know, like, I'm still uh, waiting. To fight McCain will be a bonus. I don't, I, I don't care who I fight, who, 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 no matter who wins. I'm ready. If Salute wins, I'm ready for him. If McKinney fight, I mean wins, I'm ready. And plus, in McKinney, it would be a bonus because he owes me, and he knows that he owes me. Steve Smoker helped me, and he helped him in, the, in, the, in our last fight. I had him going out. I mean, I had him quitting, and Steve Smoker helped him, and fortunate for him enough, he caught me. I got, no, I got nothing against him because... I mean, he had not, I mean, he had done nothing wrong. It's all, it's only it's the all right. part of the game. Yeah, it's all part of the game. But um, anyway, I'm right there. But you serve notice right now. You're back. Back. Well and back. Uh, after this long day. Well, Bob, as you said, as he's there, well, all I can say, Rodney Berman, Cedric Kushner, Jumbo, if you do this job to us, we will do our best for you. And well, we appreciate what you've been doing. And uh, please help us back. We want to give the picture. Welcome. People, they want to see welcome back. And of course, that's him tonight. He's there. And he'll be back. All right, congratulations, fellas. Back to you, Sam. MZ Magoni, of course, getting ready to see if they can get another title shot as welcome is back, whichever way. It will be a 